In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at a number of the tools we've got in Arkham Insignia for administering the way that we apply and work with toolpaths. To start with, we're in the toolpaths tab here, and you can see that the way the toolpaths icons are divided up at the top, we have the operations tab for the administration. Here we have the different types of toolpath strategies, and down the bottom we have the simulation. Within the administration, we can load and save and look at different types of data, and that's what we're going to concentrate on here. First of all, let's look at the tool database. The tool database allows me to edit and add any tool that I have in order to stop me from having to type in all the values every time I use it. You can see that we've got a number of pre-defined tools in here which I can use, or again, as I said before, I can go in, individually edit or change any part of the parameters within that tool in order to optimise how I use it. And this customization can be taken from one version to another of ArcCam as well. The tool database is important because it saves me time. More useful even than the tool database is our ability to use what we call toolpath templates. Toolpath templates let me save not only the tool, but also all the toolpath strategy information. On this design that we've got here, I have a number of toolpaths that I use regularly because I make many signs of this type. What I want to do is be able to v-carve the letters, to cut a groove around the outside, to engrave the acorn design, and to do a cutout pass. So I load my template that I have saved for that, and you can see that it brings in four different toolpaths in this case, which are loaded up the top here, ready to calculate. Now it's very quick and easy for me to just go through, select each of those toolpaths in turn, and actually run the calculation on them without having to enter any values, because I've already predefined these and know that they work for me, and what tooling and numbers and everything I'm going to have to use. So I say we're literally just going to step through, select the data we want to apply it to in this case, and each time hit calculate. And now you can see we've got all our complete set of toolpaths done for this design. Now I can look at the toolpaths in 2D here, and I even have the option to show them as a solid representation to see exactly where they'll be cutting. In this case, what I want to do though, especially with the v-carving, is be able to check this in 3D. And this is where ArcCam Insignia simulation comes in. You can see if we go into the 3D, I can see the toolpaths and inspect them. But if I want to simulate them, I can actually take them one at a time, and I can either simulate them individually using this control we've got here, where you can see it actually draws the tool for me and shows me how it's going to run that toolpath. I can also fast forward that to the next lift that it's going to make, or I can just fast forward it to the end and see the actual finished result. You can see I get a solid 3D representation of how that toolpath is going to look when it's machined. Or for speed, I can just simulate every single toolpath I've got in turn, and we can see exactly what this is going to look like when it's done to make sure I like the layout and the tooling that I've used. So that's a very powerful tool as well. On top of that, more information I can get from this is a toolpath summary. If we click on this, what it's going to do is tell me how long it thinks it's going to take to cut it based on the speeds and feeds and tooling that I've got. And it will tell me that for each individual toolpath, it will give me a time estimate, which makes it very easy for me to estimate when I'm billing for customers or when I'm quoting for a customer's design. Now this is good, but what if I need to make changes to the design and recalculate it? Do I have to type in every single toolpath again? In most cases, no. It should be fairly straightforward for me to take the toolpaths that we've got here and reapply them to a larger or smaller design. So in effect, I could take the vectors, we'll go in and tell it that we actually want the width of the design to be 1100 millimeters, apply that, and then with the vectors selected, we're going to batch calculate. What the batch calculation does is let me take my toolpaths and apply them all over again to the vectors that I've got there. I need to recalculate because I've changed the geometry and so I've got to calculate new toolpaths to make sure they're accurate. But it's very easy for me to do that because all I needed to do was select everything, hit the batch calculate, it steps its way through, and extremely quickly I've got a completely new set of toolpaths that have been calculated for a much bigger design 
And again, if we want, we can take that into the 3D and simulate it to make sure we like how it's going to look all the way through. Extremely powerful tools for manipulating the, the toolpaths inside of ArcChem Insignia. Very easy for me to make these recalculations. And also using the templates from the toolpath database makes it very simple for me to set up my toolpath and make sure they're accurate and I don't waste time 